Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Year of the Day. My name is Ace Kanti. Ace Kanti. E I I Kanti. Some people have been looking for me. You don't know how to find me. My socials is Ace Kanti. E I I Kanti. And on Snapchat, I'm Scanty11. Scanty. They add 1111. Yes. This episode of Year of the Day is brought to you by Tap Tap Send. Tap Tap Send. Tap Tap Send. Yes. Uh, today we are on Ghanaians. Ghanaians and some Ghanaians and begging. See, if you go to places, if you are walking on the streets of Ghana, by the time you get to Medina or somewhere, see, you have people begging you, people harassing you. Sometimes you can meet someone who hug you like a family member. You think this one is your relative. But also, I beg you, if you give me something small, you'll be working on a business call. I mean, you are busy doing something, and someone approach you, Charlie. I beg you, if you give me three CDs, if you ask my money, fine, it is okay to beg. But sometimes, it's too much. And there's someone who traveled from um, the States and then he was coming to Ghana. I'm sure he's a Ghanaian. He posted this on Facebook yesterday. He was like, when I arrived at Kutuka International Airport, then he added three dots. He's coming to break it down for us. He's not Kudu Sheldon, but he's about to break us down. Then he said, airport staff standing in front of the washroom and directing people to the washroom asked me for money before I came out. One. Second one, a staff at the baggage trolley asked asked to help asked to help find my baggage at a fee in in quotes at a fee of course okay third one the custom official the customs official said be, because he didn't search my bag i should buy him lunch that's the third one the fourth one some airport staff at the car park without my consent decided to host my luggage into the car and stood by the car after i was waiting for money fifth one yet all of these guys get paid yes and then it's so embarrassing to see airport staff just shamelessly asking for money from travelers, especially the guys at the washroom keep asking for money just for handing you a paper towel. Like you can't even pee in peace. So according to this guy, when he arrived at the Kutuka International Airport, just coming home, first one, airport staff asking for money, customs asking for money, people at the washroom asking for money, merchandisers who helped him from the airport to the car park we're also asking for money washrooms or kojun so just be in peace they ask him for money and you see these things have been happening day in day i don't know what exactly is going on at the airports there but anybody who travels and comes in even if you are leaving the country people assume you have money if you are coming to ghana and you get to the airport they assume you have money if you are in ghana and you are going to the states they have they assume you have gathered enough that's why you are leaving so they ask you money at both ends. And this thing has been... Even if you have not been to the airport before, you have not been in the airplane, you have not been in a plane before, you have no um, two kind of... Even on the normal streets, we have people begging for money day in, day out. And this makes gives me the reference to um, the Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protection in Ghana. I think last two days, she said individuals who offer money to street beggars should stop. Because they have been trying to take them off the street, but they are not leaving. So she says, individuals, this is from um, Labira Zuera Abudu. That's the Minister for Gender and Children, Minister of Gender, Children and Social Protection. She appealed to individuals who offer money to children, to child beggars on the street, to discontinue the practice. So the minister is asking that those of you give money to the streets, you have to stop. Because you guys are encouraging it. The moment you give someone money, you give them a reason that begging is more than finding a work to do. When she said this in the comments, you see Ghanaians trashing here that you are supposed to think of something better. But this is a big concern because if you are walking on the street of Accra more, just Accra, see... You, I don't know, some of them are not Ghanaians. Some are foreigners, some are outside. The they will just come and hug you and boss will give me... See, sometimes they would even... If you don't give them, there has been a video where uh, someone was asking for money from someone in the car. The person refused and then the kid knocked the person or garnished him in the car. Why? And then you see, when they start, we start from the bottom level like this, they grow and then they become big people and then when they are in the big positions, they start begging for money. Yes. If they are not paid well. People are attributing this to the fact that they are not paid well at the airport. That's what, But begging is to stop. You give me a, a, a tissue, you beg me for money. Check my staff, you beg me for money. How can you ask someone to buy you lunch? You are working, you are being paid. If, even if the system is porous, it doesn't mean that anybody who walks into Kujusel Studios, Obosu, 
Oh, you are Christian. Like, give me 100 CDs. Oh, give me this. Ghanaians have normalized this. To, some Ghanaians have normalized this to the extent that if you see, a, there was a time that someone, a stone boy, someone saw stone boy, and a beam, 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 stone boy, yeah, 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 yeah. When they see you, medical will be roaming on. You see people surrounding this, and a boss would do me something small. Boss would, why? Some Ghanaians have no you see, uh, and then three days ago, we had a team, Kaliji and some team, travel to Namibia. And then there was an important notice somewhere. They were like, do not give beggars food or money. Every time you give them food or money, you are creating a problem culture and they will keep on harassing tourists that do not want to be harassed. It's easier for them to beg than to work. It's easier for them to beg for money than to work. So if you encourage giving beggars on the streets, it will be it because assuming I stand on the streets every day and then you ask for money and then you get it. You will find that as a source of employment. So you'll be doing that. So it's easier for you to be begging than to ask for money. Now, if you come to Ghana, we have a lot of people owing. Those of you who have been coming to Ghana in December and you have been traveling, coming and go, you know how people they beg for money. They see that you are from here and hard ah, the sacks. You go for any organization, even security man. No, are you not paid well? Even if you are not paid well, is it someone? See, sometimes you someone will just open a door for you somewhere and then they expect you to give them money. If you go to Osu in the evening, where you just park your car, you have someone but also give me something small. Why? If you don't have something doing, look for something to do. You don't stand on the streets. If you do this, you see, you stop people. And if someone meets you at the airport and the person doesn't give you money, then you get mad. Now we but you don't need, you can't ask for someone's money agently. It is my money. Me and Marco Tina Abruche, I've stayed in the States for 10 years and I'm coming back to Ghana. I have saved my money. My money is not your money. Why do you see me now, Bissam Iska? Hey, easier. Boa, boa, you the not here. You even work at the airport. You me to tell a plane, you can't go to the people in Ukraine. Some people are, don't even have access to the airport. You already at the airport. Custom, security. She will be back money and found a bridge. It be simple. Oh, they are asking you when you go and make money, you are coming back. What Brea was gonna call they are asking when you are coming back. They ask. Some Ghanaians have normalized begging to the extent it has become a custom that when someone helps you out of your car, you are supposed to give them money. If you go to various malls, all the malls in Ghana here, and you go and buy something, you are stepping out. The person who helps you with the trolley to your car, the merchandiser expects you to give him money. It's a kind gesture to give someone money for helping you or assisting you. That's fine. But it is not mandatory for me to give you money. I don't know why some Ghanaians feel like, yes, okay, my boy, I have done this. I opened the door for you. I opened the gate for you to enter our organization. So before you are going, give me money. You meet a celebrity in town, no, he owes you already. But these same people come on social media and be trashing the celebrity. But you meet the person in town and I boss you something small, boss you something small. And I say, I could do airport. And this person, this no, it doesn't happen only in Ghana here. In some countries, eh, sometimes people feel like Ghana, Pena, Yabre. But if you go to other countries, on my bracing, yeah, people even ask, I can attest that 80% of the people who ask for money from Ghanaians on the streets are not Ghanaians. Drakram or the Lebanese or the Niger or the Mali or the Uzbekistan or the Yemen. You don't know where they are coming from. You don't know how they get. Up. See, and those kids you see them in the evening time. Omudi Indomisin yenye ayi whiska. I've been to an Indomie seller's place in the evening one time to buy Indomie, and these kids who beg for money were they were there. Indomie no mo ye Indomie no mo ye na Rachel Star Kiss ni corn beef. They came with their own sardine and egg. Omu ye indo mi bear thirty cities. Me and my mom is going to me ye fifteen. Me me ye ten cities. Indo mi seven cities. These people, some foreigners, where they have to take them out to go to wherever they are coming from. Say uh, the refugee camp, they will budum budum no say in fact. Yen for mungo guo, because these people are on the street and then they are tarnishing the image of Ghanaians. See, sometimes you can they will hug you, they will hold your leg. If you don't give them no ma then they will start insulting you. And then the appearance will be there. The reason why people don't climb the Madino overhead is this. The beggars on the overhead are more than the staircase you climb. Beggars, every you throw one step on the Madina overhead, overpass. Every one step, Biano, there's a beggar sitting there. And they will be begging for money. They come back the next day because we give them. And no more graduate, no more could do airport. They're asking for money. 
who go wash anywhere you go see when this guy posted it all the comments like, oh then take do me before and i go bang the security open door for me you now he's asking for money god who opens doors for us crown this guy offered to cry in your force now i'm gonna cry nice can't and i mean me right now i'm going to be me be me then i'm going to be that's why some apps on my phone will be going to be here right there literally boss oh boss hey they are me I would want to resolve the cover that we see if people have experienced this. Or I'm the only one saying that before I walk from here to the house every day, I asked some this morning when I was coming, a woman stopped me. She was asking me for money. The last time I gave her today, she saw me, she was asking me money again. So, what the uh, minister for gender and children said is true. Oh, maybe so scam, man. If you don't give them the next day, they won't come. But oh man, this one says, Oh, it's a usual thing there. Sometimes they even want to take your number. I'm sure they are not paid well. The first year in PR can doesn't mean say. Now, do you know how much they pay me? The Bini Musambo want to run out of the country. Now, we share my karma, we be same scar. This one says the sad thing is that it has become a custom. It's like a tradition. When someone helps you in Ghana, they want you to give them money. There's a VN that I'll add. The person said he owes someone, and the person is asking him for the money. Now, what what This one says airport there no play the distortion be too much. This one says possibly the person in charge of the CCTV is either an accomplice or he or she isn't doing his or her work well by submitting reports to the airport management. This one says, it's not only in Ghana or boss. I traveled somewhere and the airport police took my luggage and that they want to search the local food I brought. I realized they wanted money, so willingly I gave them $30. These people said it's too small and I left the food staff for them and told them I'm in Ghana and I'm a traditionalist. Then they just called me to come back from my box. Look at your mzoo, you didn't see or you're a spiritual herbalist. They are. They won't ask you for money. That's a good trick. So this one says so true. They have the notion that every international traveler is super rich. I'm also sure work motivation is low. You don't motivate your workers. In terms of which three series, cabby brain. Thank you, Pudwo, Busumesu, you know, Utiani Kavi, and also Pudwo. This one says this has been a problem at the airport. Now they are not shy. They will directly ask you to give them money. Recently, as I entered the washroom, one of the staff asked me to leave my staff so she would watch over it for me. Then I declined. Immediately, I entered the washroom. Another staff with me and pointed the tissue. Another, another staff entered with me and pointed to the tissue. And I was like, everyone who enters the washroom knows exactly where to find the tissue. So fast forward, she asked for money for showing me where the tissue is. It means that from the outside, right now in Ghana, you can't pee in peace. Because from the outside, before you enter, they'll ask you for money. It's only in Ghana that if you want to leave your bag somewhere, they'll ask you for money. I don't want to mention places. If you go some, oh, Patrick, keep my bag for me. Where mommy is saying, if you want to park your car, you have to pee. This one says, I thought it had stopped since I hadn't traveled in a long time. You can imagine my shock when immigration officers were begging for money. Look you on my recent trip. Okay. So guys, uh, you see the Bible. Let me quote them. The Bible said, See, we can't live without beggars. Some people need to be poor in Ghana, and some people need to be rich. As you mean, we are all rich. Who we'll ask for money? The Bible even says, there will be poor people in the country. There will be rich people, but that doesn't guarantee you the poor man to be begging. Who is Lazarus? Lazarus. Lazarus. And yeah, yeah, this is not the time to be begging for money. Work for your own money and spend it the way you want to. Me, me, if you beg me, me, I don't have money. So if you beg me for money, I don't have anything to give you. But share with us your experiences. Those of you who have been coming to Ghana and those of you who watched me when you traveled out of Ghana, begging, that has been normalized as a custom in Ghana here. Even walking around the streets, anywhere, you see someone asking you for money. Somebody can be in suit and tie. Oh, shall, oh boss, you think this person is coming to talk about, talk to you about business. Boss, my short ticket crown to them and me two series. Uncle Tom will see you now for Uncle Uncle Yejima. Guys, my name is Ace Kanti. Subscribe to this channel. Put us on post notification. Me, I'm begging with, I'm begging, I'm pleading you guys to subscribe. Because if you don't subscribe, next week I wouldn't be here. You've been two studios no more.
mo amun bie mu channel na mo ye mu ya already so please subscribe put us on post notification we'll be back with more updates my name is Ace Kanti I'm out <laughs>